Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a brand new mousetrap that's not even available on the market yet. It will be soon. I'm told this will be sold in Menards, Home Depot, Walmart, Southern States, Tractor Supply, Rule King, Overstock.com, and probably other places. The trap I have here was given to me by the inventor, a man named Frank who first came up with this trap in 1988. Back then, he owned a crop dusting business and he repainted his planes. He didn't want mice going over the wet paint. So he made a prototype of this trap and in the first night he caught 11 mice. The second night he caught eight, then four, then one. He's been going through the patent process and that's where we are today. It's about to hit the market. I think this trap has a lot of potential. We've tested out bucket traps before and have caught large numbers of mice. One of the concerns from retailers that's delayed this product going to market is this label here doesn't say bucket not included. That seems pretty self-explanatory to me, but with today's day and age, you have to be extra careful. Luckily, I already have my own bucket, so let's take the mysomatic out of the package and we'll see how it works. Here's the bucket I use to test out these kinds of traps. It's a little taller than a standard five gallon bucket. You can add water and make it a kill trap or it's tall enough the mice can't jump out and it can be a live catch trap. I've added a wooden ramp with slots. That way the mice can crawl up, go around the rim and on the trap. Now this trap includes a ramp, but because I have a wooden one, I'm not gonna use it. I'm mostly interested in testing out these green parts, the mechanisms. So let's take them out of the bag and see how they work. This is a very simple trap, no tools needed for installation. There's a clip here you put on the side of the bucket. That's very secure with that clip, fits right around the lip. Now you notice on this bar, there's a little knob right there. That's a stopper. And the stopper right in the middle fits the plank. The plank has a notch right there that fits on the bar. We'll put it just like this. Now you can see a little bait cup on the end. When the mouse goes down the plank and tries to get that bait, it gets dunked and the stopper resets it. Let's go get our pet mice, see if they go down there, fall in the bucket. Then we'll set it up with motion cameras in the barn and see if it works with wild mice. For this test, we'll use one of our brown pet mice. This trap worked with our pet mouse. It went to the end and got dunked. Now it's in the bottom of the bucket. Good thing there's not water in there. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if it works on wild mice. This time I'll add water. Over the past few nights, I set up the mysomatic bucket mouse trap in the barn and it worked. There's two mice down there. They wanted to get the bait, went up the ramp, down the plank, and when they got to the end, flipped and they dropped in the water. To remove them, you just give the bucket a little dump. This bucket trap worked well. There were a few mice that felt the plank move and were extra cautious. I had the same problem with the rolling log and walk the plank mouse trap. I call those Houdini mice because they're really hard to catch. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting the button right there. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.